Welcome back. It's your host, Malik Paternal Family Member, and everything's about to change. It's nothing bad, I promise. Long story short, I am in the military. I'm in the U.S. Air Force, and I'm moving to Korea for the next year here pretty soon. And because of that, I can't take all this stuff with me, and I'm going to have to minimize my setup if I want to keep doing this, um, which is... There is no if about that. I definitely want to keep doing this, um, but I won't be able to take all my stuff. And that's really had me thinking about the things surrounding this craft and maybe even like thinking about the whole gear acquisition syndrome thing, but also counting my blessings. I've been super blessed to be able to be in this space, have this space to myself. I've never had something like this, but um, my wife, kind of made this space for me and uh she, she just wanted to to give me this uh this kind of freedom to be able to come in here and create and have a space to myself because like i said it's something it's not something that i've ever had and i've been very very appreciative uh to the point that i'm kind of sad to have to break it down and, and leave it but at the same time i i do know that i've worked with way less and done so much more and i kind of want to like inspire either a discussion or at least s some thinking about you know for one appreciating appreciating what we have uh even if you don't have a lot of things but also understanding what we need understanding what's important and i think when it really comes down to it you don't have to have like a whole lot of stuff right i've been telling myself this <laughs> Uh, I understand that when it really comes down to it, all I really need is a computer, I guess, and I can I can make music. Um, but like I said, I'm just thinking about all these things that I have access to that I won't continue to have access to. And it's made me come to an understanding that, as I always say, less is more. I think the most creative that I've been has been with less things. I've gotten more and more stuff and Realistically, I've made less music, but I think that comes with like the age thing. Like I've gotten older, you know, I got my kids and and stuff like that. But at the same time, I think the flip side of the gear acquisition thing is that I probably would have more stuff if I had more money. I'm not rich or anything like that. And so each purchase that I make has to somehow remove some barrier from me making music. Uh, for the longest time, I didn't have an audio interface, and then I realized that, holy smokes, recording vocals is a huge pain. This plugged into the microphone jack in my uh, in my laptop. Garbage. I upgraded to the SSL2 uh, because I didn't have loopback functionality with the Scarlet Solo. Um, that I was rocking for like seven years. It just added something to my workflow for what I'm doing and made things easier. Over the past few months, I've been using studio monitors, which I was able to actually get and use for the first time ever. Um, I started using them for a class in college and now I'm spoiled. I love having them, but I won't be able to take them with me. And I have a solution for that, but I'll get to that in another video. But yeah, I'm just like looking around, looking at all my things. I won't be able to take my guitars. I won't be able to take my keyboard. I'll probably just have my machine. And that's probably it. I'll bring my mic, you know, I'll bring my audio interface. I'll bring the AKG K240 Studios that my wife so graciously gifted me a couple of years ago. And, um, yeah, this year I got a gaming PC to be able to run all of my music software plugins and everything. And uh, I won't really be able to take that, I don't think. I think I'll, I'll go back to the laptop, <clears throat> which is a little more difficult to, to make work, but I think I can live with that. It, it really raises this question, it's like, how do we get here? I, for the longest time, didn't have anything except for a laptop and a pair of wired earbuds and I was making so much music and I was being so creative and now I'm here and I'm now that I have to break it all down I'm, I'm actually kind of happy about it I'm kind of inspired because I want to see what comes out of me not having access to a space like this or to all of the equipment that I've accumulated <laughs> and I say all of the equipment as if I have a lot like I said I'm not rich 
and everything that I've gotten, I've either been blessed to been gift with or I've worked really hard and earned it. So yeah, it's time for me to start breaking this down. Look at that, we're off of the mic stand now. It's really weird uh, to, to like look around and see that like, man, I have so much more stuff than I would have ever imagined when I was like 16, but I have way less stuff than most people. And I've been making this work. Like I said, I'm, exp I'm, in I'm inspired. Uh, this is cool. Um, breaking all this down, you know? I won't be able to take the guitar. I'd be sick, but it's getting packed up. And uh, yeah, I'll see it again someday. But yeah, let's get uh, let's get cracking on breaking this down. I'll start on plugging stuff and moving things out of this room so that we uh, can put all this stuff in a backpack and get on a plane <laughs> and go overseas. Oh my goodness, I'm anxious. And it's so hard for me to like unplug. Like I said, I'm excited, but at the same time, it's really difficult for me to say, mm, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug my keyboard. Holy smokes. Look at that. Look at that. This is this is leaving. This is going away somewhere else. And I'm not taking I'm not taking it with me. I'm packing it up. I'm putting it back in its original box and it's going in the garage. I just realized this is gonna be a long video anyway, and it's mostly a video diary for myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk about my gear while I do this. Um I'm holding hold on. I'm holding my Aston Origin. Um and like I said, I am not rich. I got this uh, in an eBay auction for like $80. It was like a $200, $350 microphone. And I got it for like 80 bucks. It was a steal. So yeah, that's the story of my Aston Origin. I literally, the only mic that I had for, dang, I've had this mic for like 10 years. These are my only two microphones, by the way. This one, garbage microphone. Check this out. Test, test. Oh my goodness, this is so bad. <laughs> so this microphone is, uh, I think it was a Dragon Pad mic. It was $12 and it's the only microphone that I had for like 10 years. I got this mic in like 2020 or 2012 or like 2013, I think. Might've been 2014, maybe even 2015. I don't know. I got this while I was in high school still. And uh, this was just the mic that I had, period, straight up. And it's a garbage. It's literally the worst mic that I've ever used or experienced. Like the mic in the Apple headphones, the wired ones is probably better than this, but I wanted a condenser microphone and it came with a shock mount and everything. And I just used it. No stand. I would just hold the shock mount. You can go back to like my first couple of videos on YouTube and it's just me holding onto this with this microphone. And, uh, Hey, it, it works. It still works, even though it's garbage. Um, I'm switching these back out now, but you can you can hear how bad this is. And I don't even monitor it, so. All that to say, I'm not taking this with me. <laughs> uh, if anything, I'll give, it, I'll give it to my kids and maybe they can play with it or something, I don't know. But that's the story of my Aston microphone and I'm taking it with me. Moving on, this baby right here. Yeah, this is the complete A49 keyboard. It's a 49 key keyboard by Native Instruments. The complete control. A49. I've had this for three years now. I got it for myself as a graduation present when I graduated basic training. I got it on sale and yeah, this was my controller and everything that I had for a little while while I was at training uh, for my job. And I still use it all the time, like pretty much every time I make music because piano is my primary instrument and I always needed to make chords and melodies and stuff like that. This is the easiest way for me to express my musical ideas other than my voice and uh yeah i'm gonna miss this guy right here but it's gonna get packed up and uh i'll see it again eventually this is the focus right scarlet solo gen 2 i think that i bought from a dude in his garage for like 50 bucks in like 2017 i think i did not have an audio interface for like three or four years while i was making music i was just making beats on my laptop either with the laptop speakers or with like apple ear earbuds the wired ones garbage all no don't even think about mixing or anything like that i was just making beats and um i made a lot of beats without anything and then i made a lot of a lot of music on this um pretty much everything that i've ever made with an audio interface was made through this one up until like 
a week ago <laughs> like i finally upgraded to uh more of a big boy audio interface i guess i don't know these are nice these are actually pretty good i don't care what anyone says people like to, to shit on these but these are so good for beginners and even if you're not a beginner i i use this thing until i had to switch um and i'm still gonna keep it i'm gonna probably still use it or give it to my wife and let her use it i don't know it's pretty pretty solid interface um but yeah i had to upgrade and so this will be getting either packed up or given away r.i.p this guy this 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 motherfucker got me through it i guess i'll make like a taking it with me pile and then like a packing it up pile or something i don't know i'm not really organizing this i'm just cleaning this room out uh it'll become a guest room while i'm gone or one of my boys will move into this one so they're not on bunk beds i, I don't know dang i guess i can move the camera up we're not we don't need to see my hands and i'm cutting my head off oh that's so much better so i'm gonna talk about the guitars Let's talk about the guitars i bought this guitar for myself as a birthday present when i turned 20 oh my goodness i almost told you what my age is <laughs> okay i bought this as a birthday present for myself when i turned it's the ibanez geo 220 pa it's the purple one they don't make this anymore and uh yeah i like it it's it's kind of cheap and i got the floor model from sweetwater so i got an even bigger discount and uh yeah then i started learning how to play it I'm still not super great at it but i'm becoming decent it won't come with me and i will keep it in the acoustic guitar case because that's the only case that i have and this costs more than that one let me put this away Okay, that guitar, Oscar Schmidt. It's a Washburn guitar. And uh, as you can see, I have not clipped the strings. I changed the strings when we got it. So this, man, this is dusty. I don't play this. So this beautiful acoustic guitar, which probably sounds amazing. I wouldn't know because I don't play it. And I'll tell you why I don't play it. Um, the tuning peg, this machine head right here is messed up. It's like stripped. I need to replace it very simple fix just to have not done it and i've had this for like over a year at this point but this was a free guitar so as you saw the other guitar case so my wife got on a facebook group for the base that we live at and she asked if anyone had an extra guitar case they were getting rid of and some lady in a neighborhood adjacent to ours was like yeah i have a guitar case you can have i'm trying to get rid of it anyways so we go over we get the guitar case put it in the trunk i bring it home open it up I'm like oh snap there's a guitar in there we text this lady hey you left your guitar in the guitar case are you still at home can we bring it back and she was like oh no you can keep it just keep it um so yeah she gave us a guitar and a case but unfortunately the <laughs> the low e string tuning peg needs to be replaced and so i don't play this guitar and i also don't clip the strings when i change them oh yeah i have this i struggle to get it to work and that's why it's never been in like a video i should take it with me and figure it out i don't know it's a very early generation launchpad mini works with ableton i've gotten it to work one time and that was on the first day that i got it one of my co-workers gave it to me and um i haven't really used it very much i've used it like here and there to try to like affect and control ableton but i struggle and i haven't taken the time to research it so probably leaving this here what else is there i guess i'll talk to you about my monitors or at least my monitoring setup so since like the end of june i've been using the cali audio uh lp6 v1s it's just the first version of the lp6s uh great sounding no ear fatigue all the good stuff um really really learned how to mix better on speakers i'd never had speakers before because for one i didn't have the money and two, I didn't have to have the space to be able to have speakers in. That's why I was talking earlier about how blessed and grateful I was to be able to have this space to work in. Um, I got these as a requirement for my critical listening class at Berkeley College of Music. And man, these have helped me out so much. The sound of my music got so much better. I was not like really mixing things before uh, other than like some gain staging type of stuff. And, you know, a very, very touchy EQ stuff if I, if I could notice that something was bad, but these got me, these got me good. And um, kinda, kinda, I'm gonna miss them. I'm kinda sad to like not see them go, but I mean, 
I won't be able to use these for until I might get reunited with them again. But I'm also heavily considering just selling them and getting uh, new speakers when I have the opportunity. Um, so if you want to buy them, let me know. If I don't sell them, they'll just go in a box in a garage and I will uh, eventually be reunited with them and maybe give them a big hug. <laughs> Look at me, I'm goofing around. But these big boys, these bad boys are getting, getting packed up for now. It's crazy not having the speakers and knowing that I'm not going to have them. That's just wild. Well, I better move the stands. The more and more I break stuff down, the more I realize I'm almost, I'm pretty much almost done. I don't have a lot of stuff. Um, let's talk about this guy. This right here is probably my coolest piece of equipment. I don't even know if I can really call it mine. So this is a micro Korg. It's a synthesizer slash vocoder. And if I can take this with me, I definitely will. It is my smaller keyboard of the two that I have. And it does work as a MIDI keyboard. And I can also run the sound into whatever. I can do a line out into the audio interface and use the sounds from this. Anyway, how did I get this? I did not buy this. These are kind of expensive in my opinion. Um, so my homeboy Marcus, you probably know him as Bambi. Look his music up as fire. I think he left this at my house or something. Or I borrowed it or something. I don't know. But it's it's come with me all the way across the country to where I live now. And yeah. He might want this back. I don't know. Hey bro, I still have your micro core, dog. If you want it back, let me know. And uh also come and get it. I it might come to Korea with me. Just let you know. But yeah. It's one of my sentimental thing, um, pieces of equipment that I did not pay for, and um, technically, I guess I stole it. Sorry, Marcus. I guess we'll get on to the machine, one of my prized possessions. I got this last year, used from Guitar Center, I believe. Possibly eBay. I don't really remember because I bought two and then I sold one. Uh, so it paid for itself. I flipped one and then and I bought the other one. Um, overall, I actually profited $75 to get this. Um, not bragging or anything, but it's a finesse. You know, it's, it's kind of sick because for the longest time I was pining after this piece of equipment right here and I could not afford it. Um, and then I finally got it. And it's been a game changer for me because as a machine user, having as this control surface rather than that one over there, which I'll talk about in a sec, um, Man, this has been great. And I even have a script to use it in Ableton now, which is even better. So I'm definitely taking this with me. This will fit in my backpack. Um, I'm gonna make sure. If I have nothing else, it'll be this and a laptop. It has an audio interface built in. So if I don't, if I can't take the other one, you know, I have one right here. It's kind of cool. Um, but I should be able to take both. That's all I have to say about that one. By the way, the things that are in the take it with pile right now are the microphone arm, the machine, and the microphone. So I'm I'm minimized so far. Obviously, probably the keyboard and mouse. Step one of my monitoring solution because I'm keeping the other one a little bit of a secret because I wanna actually dedicate a whole video to it. These bad boys right here, this is the AKG K240 Studios. Um, my wife bought these for me a couple of years ago for Christmas. I never really had a nice pair of head, like a super nice pair of headphones. She bought me some other ones, but they were good for like monitoring. They were great for like producing. They sounded amazing. Um, but she wanted to get me like some real studio headphones that were, uh, pretty fairly acclaimed. Um, uh, I wanted open backs or at least semi open backs and she listened and she got me these and... Yeah, these have gotten me through the past like two two years, just wonderfully. I used them combined with uh, Sound ID Reference by Sonarworks uh, to make sure that I was I was getting like some good Sonics. And uh, yeah, these these are these really really held me together until I got those studio monitors. I'm definitely taking these with me. These are my go tos for most things. So. Um, yeah, those are going in the take it with pile is all I got to say about those. Yeah, one of my favorite features about these headphones is with this cord and the quarter inch uh, adapter. This baby screws on. It screws on like you have to screw it on so it doesn't get like lost. It's amazing. I love it. Well, let's talk about this bad boy right here. 
This is the Machine Micro Mark II. It's currently in Vegas mode. Man, that's a long cord. Okay, so it's currently in Vegas mode. It's just cycling through different colors and stuff. It's just plugged into the wall. This right here was my prized possession for over 10 years. This is what got me I want to say this is what got me into beat making and it kind of is because when I first started making beats on a computer, I did not have a controller or anything. I didn't have an audio interface. I had my laptop and not even headphones. And my cousin came over and he he was rapping at the time and he got me um, an extended free trial of FL Studio, which was Fruity Loops at the time. It was an extended free trial. It, you know what I mean when I say that. And um, unfortunately, my the laptop that I had w had broken during shipping. It was a gift from my aunt, but the it sh I don't know if it was FedEx or what, but the top of the screen was completely black, broken. If you would ever seen FL Studio back then, the top of the screen was very important. And I don't know if I just couldn't minimize it or what. I don't know what I was what my problem was but fl studio was damn near unusable i made a couple of beats with it and i actually still have the hard drive from that computer and i'll probably go visit those beats and see what they sound like but i know they were ass so after a few months of me making garbage beats in fruity loops i was given this by another rapper friend who had received it as a gift he wanted to start making his own beats but he couldn't figure it out and he was like you can fucking have it and so he gave it to me and I downloaded Machine. This was Machine One, which I still have a version of, I have still have a copy of. I'm gonna make a beat in the OG Machine at some point. Um, this and that, and I that's what I used for years. This was my machine controller until last year when I got the Mark III over there. I was using this Micro Mark II, and it still works. I just don't really use it very much because I have the, the big one now. Um, but this right here is, was my prized possession and I it's gone it's moved with me everywhere I've always taken it with and um, I'm going to pack it up nice and safe and leave it here until I can get reunited with it but as of right now it's it's mostly decoration but I make sure that I always respect it because it's technically what got me into making beats and uh, what made it possible for such a long time so yeah, that's all I have to say about that one. He, this is, this is my baby right here. <laughs> this one's important to me. But okay, so I'm taking the SSL2 with me. It, I've only had this for like two, maybe three weeks. I got it on sale from Guitar Center for like sixty dollars, and then literally like last week, they came out with the SSL2 and two plus Mark II. Um, in my opinion, they don't look that like that much of an upgrade. So I kind of got this as a steal and I would recommend you do the same thing since these are technically now old. These are four years old. I, I don't, I don't understand, but this has been great. And I chose it because it was probably the best one for me as far as the, uh, the budget that I had, which was not that much, like <laughs> less than 80 bucks. I'm not trying to spend a whole lot. My first in interface, the solo, the Scarlet solo was like $50. This one was like 80, bu 80 bucks. I upgraded and the main reason that I did it was because I needed loopback functionality um, because it's, it was really getting difficult to, to route the audio from my DAW through OBS for these videos and stuff. Um, the other reason I got it is because it just has nicer, uh, nicer preamps, the conversions way better. And um, I think the 4K button's really cool, but my favorite thing about it is that the monitor knob goes up to 11 and that's just that's just dope um other than that it's an audio interface <laughs> but it's gonna be the one that i bring with me so yeah i'm not unplugging yet because i have to use it for this video <laughs> and same goes for the camera um the camera that i use is the logitech brio 4k or whatever thing is nice I, it's a webcam i don't have to do too much it routes right into obs that way i don't have to worry about storage or the camera dying or anything like that and it's small so i'm gonna take it with me and uh, keep doing these videos uh these are 
I, more for me than anyone else but uh yeah we'll make it work i'll also bring my wireless keyboard my wireless mouse and uh yeah probably the laptop that i was using for the longest time other than that i don't really own anything else my my gas has never been able to manifest because i don't have money but i would like to make money off of this because i would be really really sick so if you could hit the subscribe button and maybe like the video you can even comment on it if you want to that would be very 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 much appreciated the literal breakdown uh no pun intended of my setup hey that's this that's the breakdown the studio breakdown literally i have currently in the take it with me uh pile is the machine my headphones the microphone stand arm the microphone the interface and then like my computer stuff the camera cords that's it that's all i'm taking that's all i got that's all it's going to be a minimalist setup i might get another mini keyboard while i'm over there i don't know who knows but hey that's it that's all I'm taking. I'm gonna be a minimalist beat maker, a minimalist music maker. And uh, yeah, we gonna cook. It's gonna be my hyperbolic time chamber for music. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna be by myself, unfortunately. My, my family isn't coming with me. It's the military, but minimalist setup. That's what we doing. Everything that I'm taking will fit in a backpack, music wise. It's crazy. So it's really crazy. It's just like really, really crazy to think about. But yeah, there's not really much of a point to this. This is like, Maybe a video essay, I don't know. I have almost an hour of footage of just me talking about music equipment and also removing it from this room. And uh, yeah, this is a, this is just an inspiration thing. This is just something for me to, to do. Slightly therapeutic, so I'm not doing this in silence and crying because I'm putting all my music stuff away. But, um, but yeah, it's been great being able to be in this space. Um, shout out to my wife for making me use this room uh, as a music room. I can, words cannot express how grateful I've been for having this opportunity to, to be in a space and be able to look at all my things. The fact that I've been so blessed to be able to have these things is just amazing to me. And um, I can't wait to come back to it um but for now i'm looking forward to being able to use my minimal setup and uh yeah i don't know i hope this inspires you and by you i mean myself my future self um but either way i hope you enjoy the video um i hope you cure your gear acquisition syndrome with watching me pretty much get rid of my stuff and um i'll catch y'all in the next one subscribe